Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And if you followed this channel at all for very long, you will know that I really like pry bars. Um, and I picked up this guy because it was a giant nylon pry bar. I've had some smaller ones I use all the time um, for all kinds of different things, whether um, they're car things, computer things, um, just installation, tile, woodworking, etc. Um, it's just so nice to have some sort of a pry bar. Um, and a lot of them have notches so you can do, use different kinds of fasteners um, or work around kind of small corners, things like that. But um, I did see this. It's ma manufactured by uh, CTA. Um, and CTA is a company that sells all kinds, sells and manufactures all kinds of uh, different automotive tools. This is one they're, they're calling their um, upholstery clip removal tool. It's 400 millimeters long or 15 and three quarter inches. Um, it is nylon. Um, it is really, really stout. Basically, you know, I can get a little bit of bend here up at the front end. I can get just a tiny bit of bend just in my hands there and then a little bit more, you know, if you look right there. Um, but otherwise, really strong piece of nylon. Um, ribbed for both probably some added strength there and, and in uh, terms of uh, being able to grip it. Um, but it's a fairly stout pry bar. Now, this is my biggest pry bar, um, this gigantic thing here from Snap-on. Uh, I haven't decided if that's a bucket list tool yet or not. I've wanted one for a while, but it's also a practical tool. Um, but anyway, this guy here wasn't, wasn't too bad on Amazon. It was about 18 bucks, which often a set of these kind of no-name ones sell for about 10, 15 bucks, depending on the quality. Um, Snap-ons come in, I can't remember, around 10 a piece for different things. So this was right in there for a great big one. Um, but a big non-marring nylon pry bar uh, that's got some got some heft to this thing. I mean, there's there's plenty of material there for nylon pry bar prying. Um, so you can see it's got an angle, straight, taper. This comes to a fairly fine point. It's got a solid wedge shape there, um, as well as the uh, the wedge up front, real wide, nice big solid, well designed nylon pry bar. Um, I'll put a link below if you're interested in something like that. Um, but I, I appreciate pry bars. I use them all the time. It's like the most primitive tool, you know, second, it, it may be a tie for hammer. Hammer might be first, but the pry bars, I'm just constantly grabbing them for all kinds of things. It's just an extension of my hand or fingernail or something else. Um, and then having a nylon one in this space um, just really, really was needed. Um, anyway, with that, Doc out.